imagine a world where the electrical appliances we take for granted are under constant threat from invisible waves. It's not a sci-fi movie plot, but a reality we live in. Here's where the concept of carrier wave communication comes into play. Carrier waves are like the diligent mail carriers of the communication world, transporting information from one place to another. They operate in a range between 150 kilohertz to 800 kilohertz. However, this frequency range can be problematic. Why? Because our power system components are designed to operate at 50 or 60 hertz. The mismatch can pose a significant threat, causing interference and potential damage. But don't worry, there's a solution. A group of unsung heroes known as wave traps have our backs. Wave traps act as gatekeepers, protecting our power systems and everyday conveniences from these potentially harmful waves. This is where wave traps, the unsung heroes, step in to protect our everyday conveniences. The construction of wave trap circuits may seem complex, but it boils down to three key components. First up, we have the main coil or power inductor. This component, often the outer part of the wave trap circuit, is made from standard aluminum cable. It's designed to carry rated continuous power frequency currents, which means it requires a cooling duct to avoid overheating. This cooling duct is created by spacer bars made of epoxy resin and fiberglass. The size of this coil is determined by the total current carrying capacity of the transmission system, ensuring a low impedance path for electricity to flow. As frequency increases, the inductive reactance of the coil rises. This creates high impedance for high frequency signals and low impedance for low frequency signals, effectively blocking the high frequency carrier signal from entering power circuits. Next, we have the coupling capacitor, which manages high frequency signals. The principle of a capacitor creates low impedance for high frequency signals. As the frequency increases, the impedance decreases, providing effective filtering of unwanted frequencies. The third component is the tuning device, which fine-tunes the wave trap's performance. This device, nestled within the main coil, comprises coils, capacitors and resistors. It adjusts the blocking frequency or bandwidth and is weatherproofed to withstand various conditions. But wait, there's more. We also have a protective device. This component, working in parallel to the main coil and tuning device, ensures the safeguarding of these components against surge voltages. It lowers over-voltage levels, adding an extra layer of protection to the whole setup. With these carefully crafted components, wave traps effectively block high-frequency carrier signals, ensuring the smooth operation of our power systems. They allow the smooth flow of low-frequency power while blocking the intrusion of disruptive high-frequency signals. So in essence, a wave trap is like a bouncer at a club, ensuring that only the right frequencies get in, while the unwanted ones are kept out. That's it for the construction of wave trap circuits. In our next segment, we will delve into the role of wave traps in power systems. So stay tuned. Now that we understand their construction, let's delve into the significance of wave traps in power systems. Wave traps are the unsung heroes of our power systems. Their primary role is to block high-frequency carrier signals from entering power circuits. These signals, operating in the range of 150 kHz to 800 kHz, pose a potential threat to power system components designed for 50 or 60 Hz operation. By creating a high-impedance path for these high-frequency signals, wave traps effectively prevent them from disrupting the smooth flow of low-frequency power. They allow the power frequency currents to flow unimpeded, making sure our everyday electrical conveniences continue without a hitch. Inside the wave trap, the tuning device fine-tunes its performance, adjusting the blocking frequency or bandwidth. It's a precision control mechanism that ensures the wave trap operates at its most effective. Not to be forgotten, the protective device plays a vital role in safeguarding the integrity of the wave trap. It lowers over voltage levels, adding an extra layer of protection against surge voltages. This ensures the longevity and reliability of the wave trap and by extension our power systems. 
Wave traps, with their meticulous construction and strategic components, act as a shield for our power systems, enabling our everyday electrical conveniences. In essence, wave traps are the unsung heroes of our power systems. We've explored the importance of carrier wave communication, the meticulous construction of wave trap circuits, and their vital role in safeguarding our power systems. These intricate devices ensure the smooth flow of low-frequency power, while effectively blocking high-frequency interference. If you found this information enlightening, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more electrifying content, and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. Have questions or want to share your thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and stay connected.